sharp calls. And I'll just say, I do love closing line value. Uh, me and Chad love it. it we live by it. But it, it's, I try not to, you know, I try to be real to people here. Like, I can't get that much money down Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday. The books just don't take that much money. So, um, you know, a lot of a lot of the way this works is certain sports books. I'm friendly with the people that run it there, and my runners are too. And we know some people. And if say, like a good example this week, everyone their grandma is coming on Denver, they're gonna reach out to people like me to get some money on the other side. That's just the way it is. And we will negotiate and argue about numbers. If they have a three, I'll be like, I'll I want the three and a half. Don't call me unless you have a three and a half. So that's what I'm trying to get down is like close line value. Yeah, I love it early in the week, but most times if you want to get anything above 10k they don't really open the books until wednesday thursday friday to take those kind of bets so um yeah that's this week the pros i mean there's so much argument the biggest argument is going to be this jets chiefs game right chad i think every pro in the world is like give me the 10 i dare you to give me the 10 and we saw the 10 touched at a couple books and it's gone and you know that's a game we're going to discuss further on but it's like if you listen to this show, if you want to bet like the pros, you want to take the lines, that's a good number of a team that's undervalued against a team that's high, heavily overvalued in a primetime game, you're going to be taking the Jets with us. So no shock in anyone that was a big discussion. The, the more shocking game to me was me and you both loved Houston this week. I've talked to a bunch of pros who really like Pittsburgh in this spot. And Pittsburgh's, you know, Whatever their reasoning is, the biggest one is they have TJ going up against two backups at left and right tackle. And that's a fair argument. Maybe me and Chad won't end up on that because we won't get to three and a half. But at three, I felt like we got a good bet. And like you said, closing line value, that's probably not going to go above three. I, if anything, I could see it going two and a half, too. So that was a big one. And the next game, I think everyone was in lineman on, um, even when we did this show. It's that Tennessee number, Chad. Like we saw, we saw it a lot of books dip down to two, one and a half. Now yeah. you've seen some money come on the other side and went back to two, went back up to two and a half. But um, definitely knew some really smart guys coming in on this Tennessee team. They just like the spot against a Joe Burrow that doesn't look the same. So perfect spot to Joe Burrow get right. We we talk all the time. That's one of the worst secondaries in football, Tennessee. But the the pros like Tennessee. So we we definitely feel good when we got that number two and a half. Um, saw it drop down. So not too shocking. That's going to be one of the more publicly bet games as well this week. Um, one I'm shocked by, Chad, was the Bills. I thought it was going to be like most people like us loving this Bills team. A lot of guys are scared of this Miami team, Chad. And the guys who haven't been playing Miami have just been on the sideline. Like I know plenty of guys that didn't go in on Denver. You know, they kept saying, I don't know, how good is this Denver defense? I don't know if they'll be able to get any stops. And they were right. They, they gave up 70 points. Um, but yeah, we did a film session yesterday and it just, it, I have so much confidence right now in Josh Allen that if you can still get two and a half, I just don't know how you don't take this number. And I, I get all the love and all the hype. And I saw Stucky posted that hilarious joke on Twitter. Um, teams that score 70 points are 0 and 1, uh, ATS the following week. So yeah, it, it's stupid, but I'm, tr I'm trying not to be like, there's a pros and get scared by this Miami team. It's like, we got to stick to the numbers, what we believe in Chad and, that's a game we're going to break down that I don't know how we won't have this in our contest at minus two and a half. It's just such a nice number and a good spot. So yeah, pr pretty not, not shocking that the pros love all the home dogs, but I was shocked by the love for Pittsburgh. And I just, I, I'm not seeing it with Pittsburgh chat. I just can't get behind it. So maybe we'll, we won't take Houston in our contest out of respect for these guys, but it definitely was shocking to me. That these guys like Pittsburgh so much. Yeah. Uh, a lot to say about a lot of what you just said. Um, the Houston game is fascinating. You mentioned Stucky, Stucky and Raybon on the Sunday six pack, which you can catch on YouTube Wednesday nights and in the action network pod on Thursdays. Um, they talked about this game a lot. Uh, and uh, Raybon loved Houston. So that makes me feel a little bit better. Uh, I'm glad to hear that we're on the right side with Tennessee Miami Buffalo, look, yesterday on the film session, which everyone needs to go watch if you didn't, it's on YouTube. Me and Simon broke down a play by Devon A. Chan from the Dolphins, a reverse where he ran through the Broncos defense, and uh, a play by Josh Allen where he rolled out right and hit Stephon Diggs like on a rope in the middle of the field on a play that had completely broken down. And 
It's one of the reasons we like the Bills at minus two and a half. It's why we bet Josh Allen at 10 to one as MVP, because if they win this game, those odds are going to be cut in half. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of good stuff to talk about. It's a great week for betting. 